Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to access Microsoft Store because of this error that is sorry about that. Something went wrong, but we are making it right. Try refreshing or come back later. So if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. First of all, open Windows settings and then go to time and language and then go to region and make sure that you select your country over here. Make sure that you select your country. In my case, it's India. So just select your country from the list. Now, once you select your country, you can try opening store once again and then check. Now, still you are unable to access Microsoft store and still you are receiving this error, then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to make sure date, time, time zone and region is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right, over here you can see the date and time, make a right click on date and time and then click on adjust date and time. Now over here make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically, both are on over here. So if these are turned off, turn it on. And make sure that you click on sync now. Click on sync now. Now, if you see that there is no tick mark over here, then click on sync now once again. If you see red error, something like that, click on sync now. Try it multiple times once this is successful. Now you can go to time and language region. So click on language and region or simply region. And then make sure right country is selected. So if you have any other country selected, select your country. And once this is done, try to open Microsoft Store. Now, still you are unable to open Microsoft Store. In that case, the next step is to clear store cache using WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset run command. Now you will see a black string for few seconds, few microseconds, and then it will open Microsoft Store once again. Now still you are facing the problem in that case, update your Windows. 11 or Windows 10. So for this open Windows settings, go to update and security or Windows update. In Windows 10, you will find update and security. Click on update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer. After all the updates are installed, after the system restart, you can try to open Microsoft Store. Still you're facing the problem. Next step is to repair or reset store app. Now for this, go to Windows settings, go to apps and then go to install apps. In Windows 11, you will see install apps. In Windows 10, you will see apps and features. So go to apps and then apps and features. And in Windows 11, click on installed apps. Now search for Microsoft Store. So in the top search box over here, you can type in store or Microsoft Store. And over here in Windows 10, simply click on Microsoft Store and then you will see the advanced option. In Windows 11, click on this three dot and then click on advanced option. Now scroll down over here, you can see the repair option, click on repair. Now once the repair is done, try to open Microsoft Store. Still it's not opening, then in that case, click on reset, reset. Now, after the reset, once this is done, you can try to open Microsoft Store. Now, still you're facing the problem. In that case, the next step is to restart Windows Update, Microsoft Store Install Service and Background Intelligence Transfer Service. Now, for this, type in Services in Windows Search Box and then click on Services. Now, find Windows Update in the list. At the end, you will see over here, Windows Update, make a double click and set it to automatically. Make sure startup type is set to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. So if start is highlighted, click on start and then click on OK. With Windows Update selected over here, click on restart the service. Click on restart. Now find Microsoft Store install service. So over here you can see Microsoft Store install service. Make Set it to automatic. Click on apply. Again, if you see start option over here, highlighted, click on start, then click on OK. Make a right click once again and then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service. Make a double click, set it to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted. 
and then once this is done click on ok now make a right click one over here and then click on restart now open microsoft store now still you are facing the problem in that case the next step is to run this parcel command so this command is provided in the video description so copy this command type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows parcel over here you can see windows parcel make a right click and then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening windows parcel as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time now this is the first command now run the second command now on the same window run the second command this is the second command paste the command over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color so when this is running you might see some errors in red color so if you see any kind of errors in red color just ignore it and let the process complete and this process will take some time once it is complete you will see the screen is full of red then you can go ahead and close this power sim once the process is complete and then restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this so you will during this process you will see errors in red color like this once this is done you will see complete screen in red color then once that is done restart your computer and after the system restart you can use store and then check now still you are facing the problem in that case uninstall and reinstall microsoft store now for this copy the first command the command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening windows powershell and as, as an administrator click on yes to allow and then run the first command run this command first this will uninstall microsoft store from your computer paste it over here hit the enter key now once this is done store is uninstalled from your computer so when you type in microsoft store or store over here you won't find microsoft store over here now after this restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart again open powershell so again type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator always open powershell as an administrator and then paste the command over here hit the enter key now this will reinstall microsoft store on your computer now type in store and you should be able to find microsoft store and then you can check now still you are facing the problem in that case run these two command now type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow now copy the first command and then paste it over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time so once the scan is complete on the same window you can copy this command paste it over here hit the enter key once this command is 100% complete restart your computer and after the system restart open microsoft store now still you are facing the problem then run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl in windows search box and then click on inet cpl.cpl and go to the advanced tab and then scroll down now over here you will find use tls 1.0 use tls 1.1 use tls 1.2 use tls 1.3 make sure all these four boxes are checked so if any one of them is unchecked make sure all these four boxes that is tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 .1 all are checked and then click on apply click on ok and then restart your computer and then open microsoft store next step is to update your windows to the latest version using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time 
Now, once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app will be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. And once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default, Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file, then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here. Now once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop. Find Windows ISO file. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. Then run the setup file. Make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11. Click on next. It will check for update. Then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. Now, still you're facing the problem. Then the last step is to reset your Windows 11 or Windows 10. Now, when you reset your Windows, you will lose all the data on the computer. So, before you reset your Windows, make sure that you create a backup first because this will result in data loss. So to reset Windows 11 or 10, open Windows settings. Now for Windows 10 users, go to update and security. Windows 11 users, go to Windows update. In Windows 10, you will find update and security. Go to update and security. In Windows 11, go to Windows update. And over here, you will see advanced option. And then go to recovery. And then here you can see reset this PC option. Click on reset PC. Now over here you can see two options. One is keep my files. It will remove application and settings but it will keep your personal files. And the second option is remove everything. Remove all your personal files, apps and settings. So select the option which you want. Now go for local reinstall. Click on local reinstall and let the process complete. Once this is done, you have to set up your computer once again. And once that is done, log into your computer and then you can try to open Microsoft Store. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you get the store working on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to open Microsoft Store successfully. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.